Cost docking is a logistic strategy that is used by the supply chain management to reduce or minimize the storage time and improve the efficiency in the product movement. In cross docking, the products are received at its central warehouse and immediately sorted and directly transferred to the transportations without keeping its storage location for an extended period. This helps to reduce handling, storage cost, and overall lead time. Imagine a large retail company owns different stores in a region, and these stores might be receiving shipment of products from different suppliers, and these products won't be storing at a particular central warehouse. Instead of this, the company might be using a cross-docking strategy to distribute their products. So let's see how can we manage cross-docking in Odo 16. In order to manage with the cross-docking, first we have to enable the route from the configuration settings of inventory module. So you can just get into the inventory module under configuration settings. You need to ensure that you have just enabled the route that is multi-step route, which allows you to manage routes for the warehouse. So you can save the changes from the configuration settings and now once you enable this, uh, you might be getting a route under the configuration menu. So let's manage the routes and you can see we have warehouse. So first let's manage with the warehouse. So I'm going to use the warehouse as uh, the default warehouse that is your company. And under the warehouse, we need to manage with the incoming shipment and outgoing shipment. So we have to set the incoming shipment and outgoing shipment as closed up. So if you're setting incoming shipment as closed up, uh, this means that this would receive the goods in the input. Then these uh, goods will be moving to the stock. And in case of outgoing shipment, the uh, goods will be sent to output. Then finally, we will be making the delivery. So we can manage with the route from here on from the configuration. Uh, menu. So let me choose the uh, routes as we have set the two step routes from the incoming shipment and outgoing shipment for a warehouse. You can see a route your company cross dock is automatically configured under routes. So once you get into the uh, internal link or inside the route that you have given, you can see the rules that we are going to perform for this route. So here you can see that we will be using a pull action that when a product are needed in the warehouse output, internal transfers will be created from the uh, input to fulfill the needs and a need is created in the input and a rule will be triggered to fulfill it. Okay, so that has given over here and you can save this. And after that, we also need to perform another rule that is uh, in simple words, we can say that whenever the products are needed in the partner, uh, or uh, customer location, a delivery operations will be created from the warehouse output to fulfill the needs of a partner customer. Okay, and a need is created in the warehouse of the output and that rule will be triggered. So we have already configured that. Now we also need to configure this route under a product. So let me go to uh, the products and let's configure this. So I'm going to choose road microphone as my product and you can see uh, we have currently zero quantities and under purchase module we uh, i mean purchase tab we need to ensure that we have set a proper vendor and we also need to uh, set the route so i will be performing a route uh, as uh, buy and your company closed up this means that whenever a, a, a demand is created from the uh, customer side the product will be first purchased and then cross lock key will be performed. So let's see how can we manage that. For that, uh, let's see uh, that from the sales module that our customer is going to place an order. So here you can choose a customer that is coin or any lampard and you can uh, choose a product that is road microphones and you can set the quantity. So currently we don't have the right quantity to deliver this product. So uh, we need to save the quotation right now and let's confirm. So once you confirm this quotation, you can see that two delivery operations are created, which will be in its waiting state. Okay, so here first we need to perform uh, that we need to get the uh, product or take it from the stock and we need to move it into the input. So in order to do that, first we have to uh, validate this purchase uh, order and we can confirm this purchase order and you can see uh, a receipt is created. Now we are going to receive the product and that product will be keeping in the input and uh, those will be moving uh, to the customer location finally. 
Now let's go back to, I mean, we need to validate that. So let's receive the product. By setting the quantities, you can receive the product. So we are going to receive one quantity of product and you can see the stock movement uh, or uh, the valuation of the product movement. Now let's back and yeah. Now we are going to perform the delivery operation. So from this, you can see that now we have the product in the its input location. Now we are going to move this product from the input location to the warehouse output location. So you can just set the quantities and you can just click on validate. Okay. So as we have purchased a quantity, you can see that uh, currently we have one quantity in stock and that's why uh, this is shown as the forecast report is shown as green color. Now uh, we can also validate the next transfer. So you can uh, see that as we have just validated the first process, uh, the second process is about uh, uh, to do. So the source location will be warehouse output. So currently the product will be in warehouse output. And finally, we will be performing a cross stock, which means without keeping it in the warehouse stock, we are going to give or deliver the product to the customer any lab bar. For that, you can just set the qualities and click on validate. This would allow you to perform the cross stocking. Cross stocking requires careful planning, coordination, and effective communication between the suppliers and central warehouse. So, hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome.